Hey folks, it's Lindsay Hollis from Sports Psychology Solutions back in the building over at Belleville High School for the SPS Edge Team of the Week, and that is the Belleville, Belleville Tigers, but I got a great host, uh, my guy from uh, high school to college and adulthood, Mr. Corey Stokes, my guy, stopping by, also a proud father of uh, Jacob Stokes, ninth grader, baseball player, and uh, doing this thing. What's going on with you, man? Nothing much, man. Just coming out to give you some support, see what these Belleville Tigers are going to do. Uh, had a great season last year, and they're rocking it again in this year, so uh, hopefully they can pull off another win. Yeah, tell me what it's like, you know, us growing up together, to go from high school, Henry Ford High School, shout out to Henry Ford, to transition, we're at Western Michigan University, and now we're parents, you have a ninth grader, and I have someone who's almost nine years old, what is it like to go from how we grew up on the west side of Detroit, to navigating the world, to be able to be a professional, but also raise your children uh, in the community that you like? Well, you know what, man, I talk about this all the time, it's really different, um, growing up in the city, is a different experience from uh, what my kid and what your daughter, I'm sure, is having out um, in a suburban area. Um, and then life is just different altogether. Kids don't do the same things that we did when we were younger. Mm -hmm. um, they've got all this technology, video games, cell phones, and they're so um, wrapped up sometimes in the digital world that they miss out on a lot of things that we were able to benefit from being kids, being active. Take your butt outside. Exactly. Yeah. Get outside, interact with people as opposed to you know being so engulfed and engaged in technology. But um, I guess the benefit of that is, though, they, they get access to so much more information. Mm -hmm. They know a lot more about what's going on in the world because mm -hmm. it's always coming to them. Right. Um, so, but, you know, as, as a parent, though, um, you know, you look back at some of the things you did, mm -hmm. like, uh, I don't know if I want my kid to be in, involved in some of those activities. Um, so you get a chance to, to, you know, try and mold them and direct them away from some of the things you did, but at the same time, you know what worked well for you right. and what you benefited from, so you can guide them um, in those directions. So, well, you've continued to give back, Corey, as an educator. We had our educational experience. We returned <laughs> to our high school, Henry Floyd, the Universal Stimble, you know, uh, and, and taught, I mean, literally uh, a class next to each other. So, I guess you're right, though, man. When we turned around and looked at what was going on uh, with our folks, you know, and what's going on now, we almost don't want them to come close to that edge and see that but then it's a part of me is like how much can you really protect them from you know or I guess maybe as they get older and they become more inquisitive and you can see where they are and they start asking questions then you can respond so tell me uh, what's been going on with Jacob with baseball I know he's really uh, focused on baseball right now and doing a lot well you know he's been playing baseball now since he was um, eight he kind of got thrown in the fire um, at an early age when you know he started playing travel ball but really wasn't ready for it um, but as the years have gone by he's developed he's uh, you know starting develop a love for it. Uh, he's here at Belleville High School um, playing a little bit of um, fall ball right now for baseball. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, but it's, it's, it's been a it's been a, 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 a journey, to say mm -hmm. the least. Um, you know, summers are consumed. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of money goes into it. Mm -hmm. uh, baseball is an expensive sport. Um, and it's part of the reason why there aren't a lot of, you know, black kids playing yeah, ball. Yeah, you read my mind. Because That's it, 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 it prices us out, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But um, it's been a good experience for him, man. He likes it. Um, you know, he likes playing uh, center field. That's the position he oh, wow. he likes. Okay. He's played other positions, but center field is where he gravitates to and he likes to pitch. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been working. Like right now, he's, his schedule is six days a week. He's oh, doing, he's, he's really training, something. huh? Yeah, he's doing something every week. He's got long toss. He's got two, night, uh, two days a week here. And then he's going to speed and agility training as well. So oh, he's, he's always focus. into something. So not as focused as I like him to be, but yeah, yeah. Um, but still, he's, he's growing. He's only 14. And um, I'm hoping hoping that um, the love continues to grow and it's not so much as hey Jacob let's go I want him to be like hey dad it's, sure. it's, it's time to go get motivated. it so. yeah but I think when you expose your kids to a lot which I know you and Christy have done that or whatnot, and uh, try to show them so many different things then you can feel good about what they choose with my daughter at times um, we may start something and I say well the goal is to complete it and even if she loses interest I try to make sure she completes mm -hmm. it but then she's had that experience so before we get out of here man you know give me uh, an outlook on uh, what you see the future of our young people, whether they're athletes or non-athletes. You know, where do you see them going? What kind of direction do you see them headed in? And what is it going to take to make sure that they are ready to take on their leadership role in the future? Well, I know um, 
it, it's funny. I've been having this conversation all week, um, dealing with this virtual situation that the kids are in for school. Um, our kids, especially our kids who are in the cities, man, they need um, they need a lot, man. Um, they need direction mm -hmm. uh, and to understand the need. Like we were just talking about being able to start something and finish it. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, it's like on this virtual platform, you got a lot of kids who um, are in situations where they don't have people behind them, mm -hmm. um, pushing them, encouraging them, telling them um, what they need to do to be successful. And that, that drive, that willingness to, to start something and to finish it, we've got to help them. We've got to show them um, and motivate them to, hey, this is, this is what it takes. Um, and we're battling a lot, man. Um, you know, I, just like I sent you guys about that, my, that former student of mine yeah. who had so much going for him. Um, but without the proper support from home, he didn't have the direction that right. he needed to, to keep him going on that path. So, right. man, I'm hoping that, um, you know, despite um, the challenges that there are people like myself, like you, mm -hmm. who reach out talk about being mentally tough mm -hmm. no matter what uh, uh set about to blow away but we good though <laughs> <laughs> you know just talk about having that mental toughness uh -huh. and being able to fight through uh -huh. um, the obstacles that are in your way and, and knowing okay if i don't have an, an example in my home where can i look mm -hmm. where is there somebody i can reach out to and show right. them the way to get it done if i don't see it being done properly in my immediate atmosphere so yeah um I, I, obviously we can get it done we're resilient people you know we've been fighting for for centuries man right. so uh we can get it done but you got to recognize when you need help and where to get that help great advice great advice indeed well, we're going to get ready to see what these belleville tigers are going to do um i highlighted them as a sps team of the week their first game uh, out of the pandemic I scored 29 to 26 but after that 69 to 0 68 to 0 69 to 0 again i mean i just want to come down here and see uh what this is all about get some feedback from the coaches some of the players but uh always great to be able to see you man no matter where we are right? yes sir yes okay, sir appreciate you man okay yes, sir. all right Lindsay ellison Corey says we out we'll see you guys next time thanks for checking in with the sps edge all right now